it was a place that seemed like I could flourish as a dancer and not feel like I had to hide myself away or to be someone I wasn't. We're not sacrificing any quality. The dance instructors are professional. Seeing what the tuition costs are and seeing the quality of the services that the, that the dancers provide and that the school as a whole provides, I can see that there's a gap between paying the facilities and paying the dancers and uh, being able to have like really world-class showcases. I, w I believe in the arts. I believe in providing a, a place where kids can explore creativity, be challenged and encouraged to grow in their creativity while honoring the Lord. And I just know that um, it's there's a gap. It just there's just no way around it. There's just not going to be enough. Like the tuition is is affordable. I, I believe by design so that more people can afford dance. The um, there's just going to be a gap, and we believe in it, and we want to support the things that enrich our kids' lives and the community. At the end of class, we talk about Jesus for a minute and. Like some days we like pray before class, which is really encouraging. And the, just like the teachers are like really good and they're like kind and they teach us good dances. The reason we've decided to be part of Magnum Opus is that I would say a few things. Number one, it's pretty nearby for us. We live locally here. We love the idea of having a dance company that's Christ centered where God's glorified and um, kids can express creativity while still honoring their creator. And um, for what we get, as far as like the services go, um, the, the cost is fairly affordable, but the, we're not sacrificing any quality. The dance instructors are professional. They're fantastic. They connect well with the kids. They're good dancers themselves. It's pretty impressive. So collectively, all those three, those three factors are what draws us to make them all this. It's, it, it's so amazing to see how wonderfully they dance. And then when Alex was part of the production, he invited all of his friends, even like my friends who were in their 50s and 60s, and that was their first time that they ever saw ballet. So I feel like this um, troupe is community minded and they make uh, ballet accessible for people who you know really don't go to it that much and it's accessible in that it's affordable and and they send out a wonderful message it's it's god focused it's um community building i feel like um they show the beauty of art but intertwine it with all the great things that um you know, people can contribute to one another each and every day. You're in a place where you don't feel valued or you don't feel good enough. I feel like you should come to a place like Magnum Opus. Magnum Opus is a good combination of wanting to pursue my faith and grow in my faith and also pursue my um, career as a dancer that was just a nice harmony of allowing myself to grow in both. Dance can be used as a way to teach like discipline and confidence and self-esteem and things like that so I'm always trying to push those positive aspects. I'm always careful like how I shape my phrasing and how I give corrections um, and always apply like these lessons to greater things in life. Just because you don't know it doesn't mean it's not good. It's always great to experience different things, but it's a different way of storytelling. So just because you don't recognize the movements or maybe you don't recognize the song, it's the same thing as watching a movie for the first time, that getting to know the characters and understanding the way they talk or the, um, the scene or the setup, it's all the same way of storytelling. It's just done with our bodies instead of with our words. I think we definitely, we learn dance, but we also just like learn how to be good people and how to help others. From when we were signing up for classes this semester, 
When our mom asked if we wanted to do what classes we wanted to do, I remember saying in my head, all of them. A lot of the friends that I have now I've made by going to dance. So it like it's also it's just like something I really look forward to to like get to go to dance and like see my friends and learn new stuff. It feels like they're just such effortless dancers. Yeah, they just like they do it so well. It like makes you and it also just like makes me want it. It's like they dance so well. It's like I want to do that one day. So it just it's very inspiring to like see these people do these things. One of the things that makes teaching from a Christian perspective so important is the commitment to excellence above perfection. And in the arts, it's so easy to get wrapped up in a mindset of perfection, of can I do this? Am I the best? Am I going to get a specific role or the solo or be noticed? And instead, when we have an excellence mindset, we are looking at our gifts and our talents and going, these aren't even mine. These were given to me by God, and I'm going to do my best to grow in them and to use them for His glory. Another aspect that I appreciate about the School of the Arts and teaching here is the commitment to wholesomeness, whether it's costuming or music or choreography. I know as a teacher that I get to help my students honor each other, honor the Lord with how they present themselves in the performing arts. What drew me to Magnum Opus as a whole was the companies or as an organization, their commitment to excellence and also just wholesomeness. It was a place that seemed like I could flourish as a dancer and not feel like I had to hide myself away or to be someone I wasn't but instead to really use the gifts God's given me and grow in those, to be pushed for sure, but in a way that was honoring to the Lord, in a way that honored my fellow dancers and honored me.